Close your eyes, make up your mind you're going to watch the breath, and then stay right here each time the breath comes in, each time it goes out. Try not to change your mind, you're set your mind on something good. As the Buddha said, when you direct yourself rightly, that's a blessing in your life. It's a determination, which is one of the perfections. Today we're commemorating the passing of King Rama the Ninth of Thailand. It's four years now since he passed away. But people still think of his goodness. They're going to be thinking of his goodness for a long time. Because he dedicated his life as king to doing the best he could for his country. You look at his many actions and they illustrate lots of the different perfections. And so when you think of the goodness of someone who's passed away, it's not just to be sad that that person is gone. After all, goodness is still here in the world. Think of that story where Ananda comes to see the Buddha to report the fact that Venerable, Venerable Sariputta has passed away. And Ananda is very upset. And the Buddha asked him, did Sariputta take virtue with him when he left? Well, no. Did he take concentration? No. Discernment? Release? These things are still in the world for us to do. So the opportunity to do the good things, to create more goodness for the world, that's always there. And we look at people who have done that, and it gives us energy. Because you look around, you see so many examples in the other direction, people acting in unprincipled ways, uninspiring ways, very selfish ways, and you begin to wonder if there's any hope for the human race at all. But then you remember there have been good people, and it's the good people that make human life livable. And where does goodness come from? It doesn't have to come from them, it can, can come from within. We all have good potentials inside. It's simply a question of putting our time and energy into developing them. So here's a good way of developing some goodness in the mind. Developing your determination. You're going to get the mind concentrated, get it to settle down, and then use your discernment. Because after all, it's a simple, simple force of will is not going to get the mind to settle down. You can force it down for a while, but it's not going to want to stay. So you have to use your discernment. How can you get the mind to want to stay with the breath? Well, you make the breath comfortable. And you use that comfortable breath to deal with pains in different parts of the body. And you realize you've got a form of medicine right here. You can treat your body every day. And when the body is in good shape like this, with its pains or soothed, then it's a lot easier to think about other good things you might be doing in life as well. You have the energy, you have the strength. You have the tools you need in order to deal with pains and difficulties as they come up. So this is the way we take our good potentials and we begin to realize them. That way we can leave some goodness in the world as well. In the meantime, we take the goodness we, we are creating and we dedicate it to the people in the past who have set good examples. Wherever they may be right now, may they be happy. May they rejoice in the fact that there are other people carrying on good work. This gives them energy to continue in their good, good work, too.